Howdy, I'm Todd, and this is Al. Hope you have a few minutes because this is going to take a couple extra to show you all the fancy stuff on this boat, and there's a lot to see. Uh, he's built on a chassis of South Bay 925 which is the fastest chassis in the world right now and it's really something take a quick look at the tubes of course it's a triple tube and they do have lifting strakes we'll look at them in a minute one interesting thing about this chassis you go up to any other pontoon and you knock on the metal and it's going to go tink 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 when you knock on this one it goes clunk 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 much sturdier and it's built that way for a reason to take some speed now mine's a little heavier i'll explain the, the speed thing in a little bit as you can see it needs a scrubbing and it's going to get one as soon as the ice goes off the lake somewhere at the end of may I'm in northern Minnesota. Uh, there's only one fender sticking out at the moment, but uh, typically there's four per side. And I leave them out. They really don't tend to drag in the water much when I'm up on plane. And uh, I've been told that looks inviting. So there's eight big fenders on each side. Works good. Trailer is a triple bunk trailer, of course, with alloy wheels. And I did a couple extra things on that. I basically built this boat from the tubes on up. And a lot of it's hand built. So, some of it is uh, the way the factory sent it out. But you'll see all kinds of extras here and there. That's a drain for the shower system wash down system take a look at these tubes rather interesting what you're seeing there are called lifting strakes and that's what makes this bad boy go uh, there was a guy in Chicago that had one of these boats now you can see mine is a IO the guy in Chicago had three outboards set up instead on each tube they were Verado 300s on jack plates, no other modifications. And he holds the world record at 116 miles an hour. And uh, I'll let you take a look at that clip right now. If you look carefully, you can notice his paint job is the same as mine. 